All right, what's going on, YouTube? We are back in it for another one. Your boy finally got a chance to get back on Modern Warfare Deuce. It's been a long time since I played this joint. Actually jumped on for like more than one game. It's been a long time, man. We finally got back on this joint. And I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, man. We was running into some problems, right? But I did get a chance to try these new maps. I, we tried Coco, or not Coco. I was, I was thinking Coco Cabana, man. Coro Village and La Casa. We actually got a few games in on each of those maps. And then you know, I finished out my session just playing a couple of the maps. I ended up getting DRC Zone 1 a couple of times. And I'm actually, I'm going to talk about that for a minute in a little bit. But it's funny, I actually was expecting to come out here and it, my whole video was just going to be negative as usual because it's Infinity War Call of Duty and it's an Activision game still. I was probably going to come out here with an all negative video, just nothing really positive going on. You guys know the way new Call of Duty is. And then that changed for a minute, though. I said, I, like, I actually cracked a smile. I'm like, dude, am I going to come out here and say something? Are we going to start the video with some positivity? Because I was about five games deep in the Modern Warfare Deuce. And I was like, hold up, man. Hold up. Like, hold up one second. Is Gilmore going to have to come out here and give some props to Activision because it felt like they loosened the skill-based matchmaking a little bit? I was blown away. I was like, dude, there, there's just no way, man. I played my first two games. You know, my first game, I dropped. That's what you guys are looking at here. I'm going to show you guys my first game on each map. So I played one game on Koro, and then I played one game on La Casa, and then I just bounced back and forth for a couple games between the maps. But I was starting to think that they turned down the skill-based matchmaker. Because usually, like, even when I take a break, when I come back the first game or two, you know, you'll have easier lobbies. And then, you know, the skill-based matchmaking catches up to you and starts kicking you in the ass, man. It's just, it's right there. It's always there. It's smothering you. It suffocates the shit out of you. Skill-based matchmaker is always going to catch up to you. So I'm about five games deep. And I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm still catching some... Some sweaty ass motherfuckers in these lobbies, man. But it just, it doesn't seem as thick. And then I hit my sixth and seventh game. And I was like, oh yeah, here we go. We're back in the sweat pit, man. I was like, did they really loosen skill? Like Activision, did you really loosen the skill-based matchmaking? <laughs> Yo, man, I did, like, you already knew, right? No, they did not loosen the skill-based matchmaking. I actually heard somebody tell me that. Like a week or two ago, bro, you got to get back on Modern Warfare Deuce. There is no skill-based matchmaking here anymore. I was like, no, nah, there's just, there's no way, man. You trolling me? These motherfuckers is out here trolling me, man. Why are you telling me that there's no skill-based matchmaking in this game, dude? Do you even know what skill-based matchmaking is? I feel like you don't know what it is or never felt it before for you to be saying that if you're not trolling. I actually heard somebody just the other day talk about how uh, skill-based matchmaking, all of us who complain and do not like skill-based matchmaking, it's not actually skill-based matchmaking that is the problem. It's us that's the problem because we choose not to learn the maps, apparently. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's all us. It's all on us. We don't want to learn these whack-ass maps with, like, all these different stories and you get flanked from, like, 18,000 different directions. You get shot in the back as soon as you spawn. You get shot from the top as soon as you spawn. Somebody's fucking underneath you laying prone as soon as you spawn. <laughs> like, it's just apparently, right? It, it ain't skill-based matchmaking. It's us, bro. We need to choose to play more tactically in a Call of Duty game. It really ain't skill-based matchmaking. <laughs> Yo. But anyways, now that we got that out of the way, I actually did run into a few problems. I seen some people talking about how the store was broken with Modern Warfare Deuce when the update went live and i was like yeah that doesn't surprise me man every time they update these games they break something man but you knew with the store they were gonna fix that shit with the quickness right so by the time i got home from work yeah there was nothing wrong with the store dude like the first thing i did when i got home was i came straight down to my console turned that bitch on booted up modern warfare deuce as soon as i downloaded the update booted up modern warfare deuce hopped in the store and that shit was working flawlessly i think it was Charles Intel over there on Twitter talking about how the battle pass costs twice as much now and it was like glitching out or something like that if you went to claim something so you're better off not buying it at all or some shit like that man I don't know when I got home a few hours later that shit was it was on point man you already knew that everything was perfect 
the store was functioning perfectly everything was perfectly fine you already knew that shit when i first seen that i kind of like raised an eyebrow right i was giving like the people's eyebrows I was like huh there's no way they're gonna let the store be broken for any amount of time at all <laughs> sure shit as soon as i got home man that shit was working fucking perfectly man you already knew that shit was working perfectly battle passes the bundles all that shit the store was perfectly fine man they always got to make sure that shit works the game won't even boot up but i guarantee you the store will work though right you won't even be able to turn on the game you're going to turn on the game it'll be glitching out on you or some shit right but you'll be able to go to the store though <laughs> you won't be able to do anything in game but the store will always work if activision is left in charge of this franchise going forward I guarantee you we'll get a Call of Duty at one point that won't even boot up, but you will be able to make it over to the store, though, to buy a bundle. I guarantee that shit. <laughs> you can make the argument it's like that now. But anyways, I did run into a few problems. I kept getting a few errors over and over again, but I didn't record them. So I can't even tell you guys what the names of them were, but I kept getting errors like after games and shit like that. I got one during a game. It kicked me out. And twice the game actually fucked up and told me because I didn't pre-order Modern Warfare Deuce and a half yet. Right. I didn't pre-order that bitch. But twice it told me to go get my ghost skin or whatever it is. Like, like it's a ghost zombie operator skin or some shit like that if you pre-order modern warfare deuce and half it was telling me to go claim that shit because it said thank you for pre-order modern warfare deuce and half and i was like what the fuck man i didn't pre-order this shit we ain't pre-ordered it over on this side but it was telling me to go claim that shit because apparently i pre-ordered it so i went over there to the operators and all that shit was locked out for me so i was just getting weird errors like that right like for some reason it was thinking that my account already pre-ordered Modern Warfare Deuce and Half. By my third or fourth game, I was getting some funky connections on this game, man. I noticed I had bullets just going straight through people sometimes. There's actually a gameplay I'm going to use in a future video. Who knows when I'm going to use it, but... There is a gameplay that I'm going to use where you're going to see I was getting close to my VTA. I don't remember how close I was. I was pretty close, though. And I was shooting this guy. I had at least... I would say, like, I shot four shots at him... And at least two or three went right through his body and he just one shots me with a shotgun, man. I was I was close to my VTOL, man. It's just it's a write-off at that point. Like, what are you supposed to do when your bullets don't even fucking work, bro? <laughs> you know, but like I said, for the first five games, bouncing back and forth between the new maps, like, yeah, there was some sweats in there. There was a lot of bunny hopping, a lot of booty sliding the whole nine, a lot of camping, man. Dudes walking around, aiming down sight. They're usually in a corner straight up camping, right? Aiming down sight with claymores and shit. But if they do move, they're walking around aiming down sight. So it was like, th those were the types of players you were seeing. But it just, it didn't seem like they were just as sweaty as what I knew before though. So it, it was fooling me a little bit. But then after that fourth or fifth game, I was like, oh yeah, we, we back in the sweat pit gates of hell over here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Deuce, man. What you know? what this game is about this is what activision wants for us ogs who've been here this whole time with the loyalty playing this franchise they don't want us out here having fun they want us going one to one one kds all day every day maybe a little bit positive maybe a little bit negative they want you losing one game and then winning the next they want everything even steven over here and it's just boring as fuck dude it's so stupid but anyways i guess you want to hear what i think of these new maps we should probably get into that huh <laughs> when i was playing the deadass when i was playing these maps right i was thinking like infinity ward makes like infinity ward is the best studio on the planet that makes the the best the sexiest terrible maps you've ever seen like the beautiful ugly map like they are they are the pioneers of this shit. They are the greatest studio on this planet that will give you just a sexy as fuck map. Just gorgeous as hell. Plays like ass though. Like give me a Call of Duty, right? You want me to, real quickly, like if, if I'm not going to break it down in details and shit like that, just real quickly, if you want to give me the ultimate Call of Duty, give me a Call of Duty that looks like an Infinity Ward game, plays like a Treyarch game, and we got a game, man. There's your Call of Duty right there. Get a game that looks like Infinity War game, plays like Treyarch, and everybody's going to love that joint. Like, I'm playing these maps, and I'm like, God damn, man. Well, not so much Coro. Coro is not really that great looking, but La Casa, man. La Casa, like, I don't want to go to war in that place, bro. I'm like, 
I'm more of a beer guy, and the whole time I was playing that map, I was like, bro, I don't want to go to war here. I just want to go chill out by this pool right here. Give me a fucking umbrella drink, and I'm going to just chill the fuck out. I ain't trying to go to it. That map is gorgeous, man. Plays like complete shit, though. Terrible. Same with Coral Village, man. Dude, you got people all up on the balconies and shit, the second stories. You got all these crevices and lines of sight and ways to get flanked and everything. They just play terribly, man. Now, what's weird is I thought I would like La Casa more because it's more of a traditional three. It's a chaotic three lanes, but it's more of like a tradi your traditional three lane maps. It's like it's more of that type of formula, just chaotic and crazy as hell. But all my good games, like the games where I went off, were on Coral Village, whereas, you know, I was a lot more tighter, like 2KD games or whatever on La Casa. So I was like, fuck, man. I was, you know, Mikasa A Sukasa. I'm like, oh, we trying to chill over here, bro. I can't get my war on. We trying to chill over here. Pass me an umbrella drink and shit. You got all these motherfuckers hiding in corners. You got all these rooms. Just, dude, I don't understand what their fucking problem is over there infinity war bro they make these maps it's like i was thinking about this as well too they make these maps just to create chaos like that right they want everybody getting kills the skill based matchmaking is not enough they gotta make these maps chaotic and crazy as hell to make sure everybody's getting kills right it's so random everybody's gonna get a kill with the spawns and how fucked up the maps are and how many flanks you got and how many fucking areas you can get to this place over here like you got so many areas you can get got from just pure randomness that's why they make these maps like this man this is why i'm not completely hating like yeah there's negatives about it but i'm not hating on them bringing back all the og modern warfare 2 maps for modern warfare deuce and half because we know we like some of those maps of course they can ruin them we'll have to see what happens but that's why i'm not completely against the idea of paying for maps again that i've already paid for and played to death because we know we like some of those maps these new maps man these new original maps like they look great they just they play like fucking ass bro and like i said for my first like five games or so i went back and forth between the two new maps and then to finish out the session i just played on a couple of the other maps and i actually got drc zone one for a couple of games and i remember i played that map once and just put it down if you guys remember i did a little review on that map whatever like a month or two ago whenever the last time i was on and i came out here and said that that map was ass man i played it the once didn't even want to touch it again and <laughs> playing it playing it after i played la casa and coco cabana i would rather play drc zone one all day every day over these two new maps man and i thought that map was trash I thought DRC Zone 1 was complete trash, kind of reminded me of Frontier from Infinite Warfare. I just don't like the flow of that map with the vents and all that shit. I do not like the flow of that map, but after playing these new maps, I'm almost like, all right, man, it was probably rather just go over here and just chill over here on some DRC, man, because these maps are just, they're chaos, man. But like I said, we had some good games. I mean, not so much on La Casa, like La Casa, you know, it was... We have like we went positive and shit, but we struggled a little bit more than Coro. But Coro, the Coro is where I went off, man. I dropped the chopper gunner. I think I played on it three times. Dropped the chopper gunner all three games. Like we we was doing all right, man. I felt like I should have been doing way worse. That's why I was wondering, like, did they loosen up the skill bit? What is going on here, man? Did they loosen that shit? <laughs> no, they didn't. I, that shit caught up to me with the quickness, and it came with the full force. No, I did not see any motherfuckers out here running the uh, smoke grenade skin from the Black Cell Battle Pass. I did not see any of that shit, thank God. But I did see some Black Cell skins out here, man, which was concerning how many I seen. But that's it. That's all I got for this one. Just rambling about my experience with Season 6 so far. Have you guys tried it yet? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on that next one.